Hey guys, Dan Frio again, and welcome back to the next educational uh, tutorial. We're going to go through today in regards to bankruptcies, foreclosures, short sales, and modifications. Now again, if you watch my previous videos, the overlays, these might be different for different banks, but this is the pure guidelines uh, based on Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. So if you meet these guidelines, I can help you. Um, it doesn't mean that you know other banks or other mortgage companies can go by these guidelines. Again, you might want to reference back to my overlays uh, video to kind of I'll, I'll explain what overlays mean. So let's go through this real quick. I try to make this as simple as possible and try to condense it on the screen. So if you even want to pause the screen and try to copy and paste or snip it, uh, this form here and use this in the future for realtors if you're a consumer um, anybody could use this so you don't have any questions why I brought this up is recently in the last week I've had two or three clients call and said they had a bankruptcy five years ago can they do anything um, it was back-to-back -back phone calls with that same question so that prompted me well there's there must be confusion out there about this so let's go through it real quick I'm sure you can read it so I'll, I'll kind of blast through and then at the end like I said um, you know stop the video print it and please subscribe below or re leave comments below if I can if you have any questions I might be able to help you with but on a conventional loan that's basically the the standard loan you think about um, you, the bankruptcy has to be four years out unless it's a chapter 13. Chapter 13, as long as you're making payments and you're into it a year, there are some possibilities of getting things done there. Uh, foreclosure is seven years. That's where a lot of people are getting kicked out of the conventional programs and have to go with a government program such as FHA, VA, and USDA. Um, so there is differences between foreclosure, short sales, and deed in lieu's and that's explained right here and I'll do another video kind of explaining those in detail I don't want to go too long with this video but a foreclosure on a conventional you have to be out seven years deed in lieu four years short sale it depends and it'll show you there how much money you need to put down to fit into those programs VA this is where this is probably the loosest programs out there and God bless veterans for you know serving and protecting the country and you deserve these programs uh, chapter 7 is two years out uh, chapter 13 bankruptcy again one year in and making payments but you as long as you're out you're good foreclosures uh, short sales and deed and lieu all of those are considered kind of the same those are two years out We'll move over to FHA. This is where a lot of the people that don't fit, or if you're not a veteran and you don't fit conventional, this is where we, we kind of place you. Um, two years out on the Chapter 7 bankruptcy. This is another one where it's one year in as long as you're making payments. And the trustee is going to go for VA loans as well. You need to get your trustee's approval if you're looking to refinance or buy a home and you're in, foreclosure, or in a Chapter 13 currently. So just you know, check on that. Uh, foreclosures, deed in lieu, short sales, again, those are lumped into one, similar to VA, but completely different than conventionals. And those are three years out. Again, notice on the VA, it's two years. FHA, it's three. We'll go down to USDA loans. We don't do a lot in Illinois, but if you just go south of us in DeKalb and Sycamore in those areas, you can qualify for USDA loans. Uh, three years out on the Chapter 7, one year in on the Chapter 13, making payments as agreed, again with trustee approval, foreclosures, short sales, deed and lose, three years. So I hope that you find this helpful. Again, please subscribe below and leave any comments that you have. I'd love to be able to help you. And take care. God bless.